cannot believe I almost skipped this one. I almost missed it. Covered the Gunner album that came out a few weeks ago. So obviously I'm not going to miss the opportunity to make a couple of beats in the style of Young Thug's third studio album, Business is Business. The reference track I'm gonna use for the first one is probably my favorite on the album called Oh You Went. I think that's the most popular one. So to stay true to the sound of this track, we're going to need a sample. So I'm just gonna look for one now. gonna use this one there's some parts of the sample that i don't really like so i think i'm gonna chop it up using fruity slicer i'm gonna increase the pitch by five semitones i think the bpm i'm gonna use is like roughly 137 bpm and i'm just gonna chop up the sample Brother. Okay. <laughs> Why? I want some variation in the melody though, so I'm going to change the second half. That sounds wavy. Okay. Alright, I want this to sound pretty old school, so I'm going to add some effects to it. Effects sound good to me, so I'm probably just gonna move on to drums. Alright, I'm gonna add a bass line to this now. I'm thinking like a bass guitar, I don't really think this needs an 808 or anything like that. I'm just gonna add a kick and then pray that it sounds nice. <laughs> can't lie, this is the weirdest beat I've made in a long time. I think the last thing I'm going to do in regards to patterns is I'm going to split up the bass line into two articulations, so sustained and staccato. Now we've got the drums done, I'm just going to mix up the beat and see what it sounds like.
think for the second beat, I'm going to go for a style similar to that of Parade on Cleveland, but the second part, like the double time reverse trap beat part. If you don't know what I'm referring to, just listen to the track. It's the first one on the album. To get the reverse effect that I want, I'm going to start off with a piano sound with a bunch of reverb, so... just going to flip it horizontally and then bounce it out, reverse it again once it's bounced out. I'm just going to repeat the process with another sample from Keyscape, so I'm probably going to use uh, this one. I think this one sounds pretty good. Just to fill out the sample a bit more, I'm going to start adding some one shots from the Eternal Multi Kit. I found this flamenco accent, it sounds pretty cool. I would never be able to make something like this, so I'm just dragging and dropping it. So I'm going to add another accent, it sounds like this. One thing I noticed on the reference track is that there's some sort of lead or flute or something. I found a lead in Diva, which I thought sounded pretty nice. Now I've got all the melodic elements for the beat, I'm happy to mix them up and start with the drums. I don't really like the 808, so I'm going to change it out for another one. So the main drum pattern is done, but there's actually a secondary drum pattern, which is in half time. I'll show you what I mean in a second, because I'm going to program it now. With all the drums patterned up, I'm basically just going to mix them up and arrange the beat.
be done. I'm very happy with the melody. The melody took a long time to put together. Metro's production on the reference track, the beat is way more anthemic. It seems more like a composition than it is a beat. I think it's fair to say that that beat doesn't have that element to it. it might be something to do with the fact I'm not Metro Woman, but I had a lot of fun putting that one together because reverse melodies are definitely not my go-to. But hopefully if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. If you enjoyed, of course, feel free to like and subscribe. Let's just listen to the beat and see what I could do better for next time.